What's going on guys? Patrick here. This is a long overdue video. I've been meaning to do this for a while. I have had my monkey beaver saddle now for a couple of years. I got it in the summer of 2018 and I love it. And uh, I just wanted to go over my setup for my saddle. Um, but we, before we get into the monkey beaver, I wanted to show you my original new tribe saddle. I got this in 2008. So this is the old school uh, olive green. I love this saddle. It it reminded me of GI Joes and like just I don't know. I love it. <laughs> but uh, the reason I got it in 2008, I only used it for a year, probably less than a year actually. The reason for that is it didn't have a bridge. The saddle doesn't have a bridge. Uh, it uh, you you take you take the the belt on either side, and then and then. Uh, and then the part from the leg strap and you, you lash them all together with a with a, a screw thing whatever that's called um, so it's like a fixed it's a fixed uh, tie-in point on your saddle right so it's not a you, you don't have a floating bridge which means uh, when you when you're in a tree and you turn you turn your body hard against the rope what it means is the entire saddle would twist around your body do you know what I mean and uh, it just got really annoying to me. I didn't like that. In terms of like a recreational climbing saddle, this is awesome. I love this. I still use this saddle uh, for rec climbing sometimes, but uh, I don't use it for production. But anyway, so so that was my first saddle was this one, the New Tribe. Check that out. Climb trees, New Tribe. Um, so I used that for about a year. And then from 2008 to 2018, I had uh, I had a couple uh, Petzl Sequoias that I I used the one for like six years, probably too long, and then the other one for the rest of the time. Um, and then 2018, I got I got my Monkey Beaver saddle direct from August. So. Uh, I want, just want to run through the basic setup that I have for my monkey beaver. Um, I love this saddle; it's super comfortable. I the way I the way I think about it, because uh, I moved from again from a petal sequoia to the monkey beaver. In my mind, the um, the sequoia is like built for rock climbing. Like petal petal is rock climbing. They they have, later they moved into arborist stuff, but it just seems like it's built for rock climbing, whereas this seems it's built specifically for tree work. And uh, that's just my opinion, of course. But uh, I, I like this a lot more. It's, it's a much more comfortable fit, in my opinion. So, we'll go over a few of the things that, uh, a, few, a bit of the setup that I use for my monkey gear. So, item number one is, Suspenders, okay. Now, uh, August sells like MonkeyBeaver.com sells. They have their own custom-made suspenders. I just got these these suspenders from Weaver, and uh, uh, but I love them. Suspender, like the the saddle is made for suspenders, right? It has the it has the loops, two on the back and one on either side, made for suspenders, right? And I highly recommend it really helps to to distribute the load when you're holding a, a heavy saw it's just more comfortable in general um, so that's what I, I would I would recommend that for anyone anyone who has a saddle which is built to have suspenders you should throw suspenders on it it makes a big difference it's awesome so on my suspenders what I have here is just a couple little pieces of rope with a little beater so this serves as a chest tether for, for rope walking. So I just clip, I clip it together, right? So that sits in front of me and then I can, I can just clip that to my system. And now I have something which will pull my system up as I'm rope walking. And then also on the left side, Buck and Billy Ray style, I have a, a whistle just in case. Okay, so that's item number one. Customization number one is suspenders. Highly recommended. Number two is 
this little thing, which is pretty sweet. They're expensive. Um, to be totally honest, I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called. It's uh, it's made by Rock Exotica. A transporter. I think it's a transporter. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it's uh, I use this. Uh, it's right on my right side. That's where I hang my saw. So what I so on, on the monkey beaver, it comes with it comes with this ring and then this snap. So that's made for your chainsaw, right? You take your your chainsaw lanyard. Where is mine? Here's my chainsaw lanyard. So on my chainsaw lanyard, the end with the ring would snap. I'd put that on the saw, and then the other end, I would I would attach that to that ring, right? And then if I want to hang my saw up, you could use the snap that comes with the saddle, or in my case, I use the transporter instead, right? Okay. So suspenders, transporter, I have two of these carry tools, one on either side, that I use for, you know, rings or snapping a rope on, whatever else I have to carry. I only use, I pretty much only use the transporter for, the, for my saw, okay? Next I have, um, I keep an extra climbing carabiner, oval. I use a long um, sling with another beaner. This is actually a steel beaner. And I just use that for like redirects or sometimes you'll, you, you'll use this as a foot loop or whatever standing if you can't get a good foothold. Um, now this is a newer, uh, this is a newer addition to my belt. This is, this was a, a, a suggestion from, from a YouTube subscriber. I can't remember who that was, sorry. Um, they said this, this uh, retractable key back thing, which I have attached to my little um, CBF, climber's best friend. Notch makes these little wedges, which are awesome. But anyway, this is a four foot um, retractable thing. So this sits, I, I snap this on the rear um, belt loop. Okay, so it's directly behind me. So anytime I need the wedge, I can just reach behind me, grab it, and pull it. And I can use it, and then it snaps back, okay? Then on my left side, I have, this is from a secondhand store. It's a little pouch for a, uh, for a camera, I use it for my, my my phone when I'm climbing, and I just I just cut a little cut a couple holes in the back and put this little beaner through it. So I keep my phone with me when I'm climbing. And then I have uh, this is my quickie shackle. Love these things. I use these all the time. So I keep one on there and. And the last thing is, on my other carry tool, <clears throat> this is on my left side, I have, I just keep this at all times. This is, this is a, you know, an X rigging ring on an ultra sling. I think this is uh, five feet long. And I just use this so much. I use it so much that I just keep it on my belt at all times. It's small and light. It doesn't, doesn't bug me at all. So I just leave it there. Okay. And then, I said that was last, but that's not last. So these are a couple um, newer additions, right? So I, I'm running a, a, double, a double bridge setup on my Monkey Beaver. Uh, it comes with one bridge, which attaches to these, these rigging plates, okay? But I've, I've thrown a second bridge on in addition. So where I attached it, I this is 7 16 and I just put it through, I put it through the middle hole of of the, the paw, the cat's paw rigging plate, and then I just used the uh, the double fisherman's, whatever you want to call it, scaffold. Same as, same as the bridge that comes on it. So now I have two bridges, and then I have two 
rings. I have a ring on each bridge. So what I do is um, when I'm climbing normally with one system, I'll just clip into both, right? And that gives me redundancy, right? So if one bridge failed, I have a second one. But uh, what it also means is, let's say I want to uh, climb, let's say I want to use my long lanyard and I have a, I, I, my main lanyard is really long. It's like 18, 19 feet long. So I use that like a, like a short secondary climbing system, right? So let's say I want to remain clipped in to my, my main tying point over here with my main system, but I want to use my long lanyard in this direction, let's say. What I can do is I can just unclip from, unclip my system from the secondary bridge, right? So I can stay clipped in with my main system on the one bridge. And then on the second bridge, I can clip in with a second system, whether it's a long lanyard or a secondary climbing rope or whatever. So it gives me a lot of versatility. So both of these systems can move independently to orient themselves depending on your angles, right? It makes a big difference. So I love that. Um, I was running for a while, for quite a while, I was running just the, the double bridge, but I had just one ring around both, which was just purely for redundancy. But I, I like this system more, where I have two bridges, two rings, I can use them independently, or I can just clip into both, right? So it gives me redundancy and versatility, okay? And then the last thing, the actual last thing of customization for my Monkey Beaver is I have this DMM uh, focus swivel that I keep on my left side cat's paw. Okay, so these days I've moved away completely from using the uh, the upper Ds, the upper attachment points for my lanyard. I don't use them at all. I only use the lower attachment points, which are the rigging plate. The rigging plate is made to be a secondary attachment point for your lanyard but I, I use it exclusively now. So on, on the one side, I have this swivel. So what that means is, we find my lanyard here. What it means is, um, my lanyard is free to uh, rotate on the swivel. So it's always going to be able to orient itself properly, even when I'm on a crazy angle. You know what I mean? So this, this is an amazing improvement. I just put this on this year. I always keep my, my lanyard on the one side. I always attach it on the one side, like the, the, the system portion of it. So it, it goes on my left side. So I just put the swivel on my left side and it's awesome. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And uh, I don't know, hope you can get some value out of that. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't tried a, a monkey beaver saddle and you're looking to, you know, I, I think you're, I think the recommendation is every five years minimum, you should replace your saddle. So if, uh, you know, if your saddle's getting up there in age, I would highly recommend trying out a monkey beaver. If you can borrow a friend, just try it out. Uh, it's, it's a solid investment and uh, highly recommended by me. Right? Until next time.